Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I had a wonderful night's sleep. And today I picked one of my dear friends from New York up at the airport. I'm really excited to have her here. It's, um, yeah, so much fun. Um, I am so grateful over my life. Um, you know I'm a recovering addict and alcoholic. Uh, for me, that's the same, but it wasn't before. <laughs> so I always point out that I'm both. Um, and I am very, um, very grateful that I've lived a sober life for over 10 years now, uh, uh, one day at a time. It's uh, not something that I take for granted. It's something that's really been, um, you know, in the beginning a struggle. Uh, after the beginning a blessing but something that I've chosen to do uh, every day and uh, still do and this yoga challenge that I started a long time ago 365 days of yoga uh, was a way for me to keep you know a discipline I'm not a very disciplined person by nature so I figured you know if I record myself I I'm going to keep it and I have and it changed my whole life and um, after the first year I was like okay what changed my, my life more than anything else and that's the 12 step program recovery you know that and um, and a check in with myself every day that I like land into myself and check you know where I am how I am. Uh, so every morning I start with the you know asking to be of service. Um, and every night I end with uh, a thank you uh, and here every day I focus on things that I have in my life that I'm grateful for because when I see that when I focus on the things I have I understand what what a blessed person I am instead of thinking of all the things that I want you know that I used to and everything that I don't have um, so I, I try to really live like that and that's working for me one day at a time. So keep with me. It's really like a practice of, of, of being sober. Um, so I'm very grateful for my program of recovery. I'm also very, very grateful for um, my higher power. I have a belief in higher power and not any religious one. I am born into the Protestantic, uh, you know, um, Christian church, but Sweden isn't a very religious country. So I grew up with like an atheist father and, um, and I wasn't raised, you know, Christian much, um, but um, I believe in energy. I believe in love. I believe that each and every one of you speak like God speaks through you to reach me. And uh, when I trust my higher power, my life becomes amazing. When I try to take control, I things don't go that well. So I try to really like um, find a contact to my higher power every day. And I do it through this, through practicing yoga, through searching for contact and through passing on. So thank you for, for helping me doing that. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. <sighs> Observe your breath and where in your body your breath is located. We're gonna start taking control over our breath on the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. And on the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale. Super. We're gonna do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine, quick and hard. Inhale. Very good job. We're going to do the hip row. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Beautiful, we're gonna come to all our fours. Place your hands straight underneath your shoulders, place your knees straight underneath your hips. On the inhalation, come forward with your belly, move halfway up the seat. On the exhalation, come up and drag your belly button. We are going to give our feet a massage. <laughs> it's my favorite one right now because I feel like I need to spoil my feet a lot before I'm gonna walk down the aisle. <laughs> so join me in the spoiling of your feet. I think we cannot give them enough love, you know, because they carry us through life. And I sure have made sure that my feet has done, you know, a major job because I haven't taken care of them really well. Uh, lay down and stretch out your hip.
and hook them up and lean forward. Also today, the Swedish girls kicked the Japan women's ass in football. It was hilarious. I was so proud of them. <laughs> so we are uh, meeting Spain on Tuesday. Hopefully we're going to win this tournament. Tournament uh, In Sweden now, everyone is talking about Sweden being the highest greatest team. The team with the highest rating that is still left in the tournament. So hopes are up. They were playing so, so well against Japan today. It was, uh, it was amazing to watch. Uh, everything just found its way, you know. I love watching football when it is like that, but the, the male team in Sweden hasn't been like that since 94. So I'm happy we have the women. Come up, and we are going to do the same. Perfect. Breathe. Inhale, come up and come back to take this position. Good job. We're going to finish today's class with a short meditation. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this very moment. Your palm 
comes to the forehead because I think it felt soothing to your mouth for you to speak the truth and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. Thank you so much for today. Remember to go. Thank you. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.